Sarasvati and today we have with us uh, Neeraj Kabi. Uh, he is playing a pivotal role in the, in the Taj Mahal 1989. Hello sir. Hello. How are you? Very well. You know I, I watched the trailer and, and uh, it, it, it seems it's an it's a amalgamation of four love stories yes. it looks like. Yeah. And uh, your is also very interesting a married couple and their ups and downs and so tell us a little little more about the character that you are portraying in the film. I am playing the character of Akhtar Beg and um, Gitanjali Kulkani plays Sarita Beg. Hmm. Um, I am a philosophy professor hmm. and I have a love for poetry and literature. Hmm. Um, I have a married life but I live my own life in terms of I am surrounded with books, I am surrounded with the world of literature and poems. And my wife, on the other hand, lives a regular life. She's mm -hmm. a teacher herself, she's a professor herself. Both of us teach at the Lucknow University. Mm -hmm. But she has a regular life, we have a child. But she's lacking that relationship which she would want from a man. Okay. Um, and the sense of romance is not there. And because this man doesn't think about love and romance the way she would, uh, she comes to a point where she threatens him to say mm -hmm. that if you don't give me that, I'll probably divorce you. Okay. So that's where everything becomes um, a nightmare for this man and he suddenly comes alive to the fact that he has to give something mm -hmm. back in terms of a relationship to his wife. And that's what the entire story of his segment is about. Right. It's, it's so interesting for me to know, considering the fact that we tend to think that, you know, poets and people of literate, like who study literature are very romantic by nature. And here yeah. you are saying that, is that the conflict uh, that, that you are kind of, you as, a, as, a, as an artist got a chance to, you know, explore uh, from the character that you portrayed? Yes. Before this, I played a love story. I performed in a love story called once again, yeah. this was um, a feature film for Netflix mm -hmm. uh, starring Shefali Shah and yes, myself. Yes, I, I so th that was about longingness, that mm -hmm. was about lacking love, that was about lacking anybody in your life. And now you find a relationship with somebody else. This was not like that, this was unlike that because this was having the, the person in my life and yet not being able to express my love for her because I never felt that love should be expressed. Okay. That's what uh, Akhtar Beg's character is. So there was a, there were moments in, in the series where you will see them spending some time in a khandar mm -hmm. and they both go there, they visit it, they say that okay this was where certain poet or a certain um, writer yeah. you know was born in mm -hmm. the space. They spend time over there and they spend time waiting at the sunset, they spend time just sitting with each other, just being there and that's why it talks about Taj Mahal 1989 because 1989 was was the advent of I mean post that was the advent of technology yes, and television and internet and, and everything. internet and everything before that it didn't didn't exist. Uh, this is this is so interesting that you know there are two uh, 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 two films that we are talking about uh, the other one was uh, we are talking about the one with Shef Ali Shah that one and this film in both the films you are playing lover somewhere you know a middle aged man who is either like you know need to nurture the love relation or longing for love. Do you think these days the, the, the love story of middle aged uh, men women are written more you know in a, in a more meaty manner the way it is happening in today's time as opposed to earlier the way it used to happen because middle-aged people's yes. love story how do you look at that yeah. opportunity yeah. sir? Yeah. It's very beautiful it's very very beautiful and you're very right in the way you're expressing it that um, today the roles that are written for middle-aged love stories uh, have far more content uh, and are looked at very deeply you know if you talk of yesterday yesteryears then there's Ijazat yes. um, when you talk of middle-aged love stories and before that it was Andhi yeah. So, these stories also have to be told. Love does not mean that you only speak about youngsters falling in love. <laughs> there is so much that you have at every age and every stage of your life. Mm -hmm. It's not about saying that, oh, it'll be so boring. I mean, what else? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. You, you, you need to tell these stories. I wish there were more middle-aged love stories being written. There were more love stories where even people of the age of 55 and 60 are actually doing lead roles and performing these love stories. Romance can have no age bar. It's got nothing to do with 
how old are you, how young are you, from where you come. It's a feeling that comes. Do you think that, that is not happening or what not happening for so long is also because we have that youth fixi uh, fixation? Um, I don't think so. It's because of the youth fixation. I think people are not writing these stories, that's it. <laughs> they should write more stories. And I'm saying this because, not because I'm imagining something that is going to be very positive in the industry. But I have myself done a film uh, called Once Again with Shifali Shah, which I told you. And that film was received so beautifully, so amazingly beautifully. Um, that's the time I felt that we should have more stories like this. People are there, there's a huge audience wanting and waiting to see such love stories. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised when this film just really? did so well. Mm -hmm. And it was on Netflix and it ran for a very, very long time. It was also, yeah, it was received extremely well, extremely mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. What do you think, uh, as, a, as a senior actor, what are the, what are the struggle that after a certain point of time, after a certain age, that men tend to get? Like the stereotype that you, for instance, as an actor, tend to get? And that you, of course, you, you want to break out of that. I've taken calls on the kind of work that I want to do that should not stereotype me as something. So I, I've played a variety of roles, a variety of characters, simply because I didn't want to be stereotyped. And that variety, when you create, you need to create with a lot of good quality and excellence. It's not just about you looking different in every film. It's a question of you being different in every film. Mm. But I feel the industry, personally, I feel that more stories should be written for people or for actors who've crossed the age of 45, 50. And there are so many things to talk about, so many emotions to talk about. And even if you talk about romance, there is so much in those ages. Why aren't we exploring those? We should. Well, it's really lovely talking to you, sir. And thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, this is Arundhati, signing off. <laughs>